What's up, YouTube family? Gerald Greenlee here with Cleaning Green Lawn Service in beautiful South Georgia. Hey, hope y'all are having a great day. Uh, it is 6.03 in the morning. Headed down to the shop. Uh, the guys are supposed to be there at 6.30. Uh, I'm going to have to go out with them this morning because Elro has a doctor's appointment. And uh, it's one of those, I think, every three months or something, he has to go give a little bit of blood and He's usually in and, in and out in 10 or 15 minutes, but he still got it. So, um, I'm actually going to go out with uh, 003 and Ace. And whenever he gets done to his doctor's appointment, he'll just meet us wherever we're at. And I'll bring his truck back and they'll finish up, you know, what they got to cut today. And uh, so, and probably starting next week... Um, I don't know. At some point, I'll, I'll probably we may start running two crews and uh, every day, and just you know working you know five hours or whatever it ends up being. Uh, just not working as long of a day, especially with it being hot like it is right now. Uh, we might start doing that at least a couple of more days a week on the heavier days which are normally Tuesday uh, Tuesday is usually a pretty heavy day which Tuesday we're going to do on Monday next week and we'll definitely run two crews next week uh, because the next day is the 4th of July just to get every, just to get done and get everybody off um, so I don't know um Anyway, and I got some other reasons for wanting to do that, but that's uh, that's kind of where we are. So, anyway, I bet you them headlights I see coming the other way is probably 003. Uh, they get to the shop. Him and Elro get there 20 minutes early. <laughs> uh, I guess it's a good thing Ace don't get there that earlier instead of leaving at, you know, 625 when we're supposed to leave at 630. Uh, we'd be leaving at uh, 6 10 <laughs> uh, and I don't like getting places cutting too early so especially not where we're going this morning but anyway let me get off this thing man because El Romo has a doctor's appointment this morning they called me yesterday evening when they get back because they like leaving early and I don't let them take the I don't let you know the young guys take the truck out by themselves um, they call and ask if I want to be El Romo today, you know, because I hadn't been feeling that good. So they said, hey, all you got to do is drive and cut, and we'll do everything else. So that's what I'm going to do until we get uh, El Romo. So oh, there's 003. Uh, he just pulled up. It's 16. So there you have it. Look at that, boy. Look at that. The posse, man. Them boys getting it done. Man, hey, playing El Romo's a lot of fun, man. <laughs> Yeah, getting it done. So we already done with two is 809. And we already threw with uh, the two banks, about to head back, take care of our property on the way back, then go get that probably two and three quarter acre out in the subdivision that I could only do part of last week, I think it was. It should be dried out pretty good. This is not dried out yet though. Man, that was wetter than I thought it was gonna be. It ain't been as dry for them, I don't reckon. Something? I don't think so. But I mean, everything was a lot drier than what it was last week. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You didn't cut, cut none the bottom last week. No. You could tell, too, because yeah. you had two weeks worth of trash out there. The uh, See, the people at the bank here ain't nasty. It's the people on the highway. The uh -huh. other bank, they throw everything out at the drive through Yeah. I reckon. But anyway, y'all can see. You can see the... It's wet on that corner. I almost got too greedy. Almost on that All bottom end. Yep. <laughs> it started spinning. I said, uh-oh. There, there they are, sitting around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They've been working, though. Look at all that sweat. Oh, I sweat like a... I don't know Just what. Just finished up over here. So, this is like our... Yeah. Yeah. Well, we got four done and four to go, I guess, don't we? Ain't got nothing big left though. I guess the biggest one is well between Harrison Company and uh, Willis. Willis. Willis is probably the bigger one, I guess. 
I don't know. It'll take the longer if we only yeah. get two instead of three. Yep. All right, man. I'm gonna leave it with them. Look at here, boys. I'm riding in the titanium F-150, man. No, not really. The limited. <laughs> So, uh, I think I already told y'all this. Elroy had to go to the doctor. And uh, actually, I had to get his ticker checked. He has a pacemaker. And they check it like every three months or something. And uh, so, he went and did that. And it only takes some... I mean, he just walks in there. I guess they just check it real quick and he's done. So, he came out and met us uh, at this property over here. We knocked it out real quick. Uh, I mean, real quick. So... Uh, we're headed on well, they're headed on to do the other four for today. I'm gonna go to the house and get uh, I'm gonna go get the trailer and the Super Z the new Super Z and I'm gonna go cut one uh, Just a neighbors down the road. So um, I'm gonna take care of that And go ahead and run that one tank out of gas so we can see what it's like man see what we uh See how much time we getting on a tank but uh and they'll get the uh, other four finished up. 003, actually, he's got to get his hair cut today. So he can work. It's, it's 10 o'clock now. He can work till, I think he said about 12, which is two hours. So he'll probably be with them to get at least three of them knocked out. And uh, then the one on the way back to the house, uh, Ace and El Romo can knock out. Won't be no big deal. So, yeah, man. They are to be done today by, you know, say one o'clock somewhere in that neighborhood. So, not bad, not bad. We got to do this big five acre right here too. It's a cleanup. Uh, I say a cleanup. It's just it hadn't been cut really this year, and then we had to trim that whole pond out there. So we still got that on the schedule for just whenever we can get to it. Probably try to work it in tomorrow. Um, because she asked about two weeks ago, you know, I don't want to let it roll out too far. All right. I just got done cutting the property. Actually, I'll ride by it and let y'all see it. It's my neighbors or, you know, on the road that I live on right this minute. <laughs> um, my GoPro didn't want to come on when I left there. I thought it needed to be charged, but I don't know. I guess I didn't hold my mouth right or something. Anyway, while we're going to look at that, let's talk about fuel economy on the new Super Z. So, uh, probably gets better than that John Deere. What y'all think? Maybe. Huh. Um, Two point eight hours for a tank. 2.8 hours is when I ran out. So I think the X1 runs about four hours on a tank. So that's the 27 horse on a 60 inch deck versus the 35 on a 60 inch deck. Uh, four hours and 2.8 hours. So you get another 1.2 hours out of the 27. So that means on two tanks, in theory, uh, all things being you know somewhat equal, I guess, that you're going to get roughly five and a half hours out of uh, five and a half hours of cutting out of two full tanks out of 10 gallons um, on the Super Z. And on the X1, you get about eight hours. So it's about it's about uh, two and a half hours difference. So this is what I just cut uh, right here, coming up on this uh, shop. And you see the front here. That's cut it like two and three quarter. It don't look like it. I started out at two and a half and I was like, man, that's taking too much off, so I went up. Now, I need to check that Super Z. I've never checked to make sure my blades are set right either. Uh, I need to check that. I think it's cutting low. I'm gonna get down here and 
drop this trailer and I'll probably get everything. Actually, I may go ahead and set the trailer up for tomorrow. Not sure exactly what I'm gonna do, uh, but I'm gonna go out. I need to go cut some tomorrow and uh, take care of a few little landscape things and stuff like that. So get some things done, some things tidied up, man. Anyway, let me go ahead and do a closing. If I do something else, I'll come back and plug it in before this. I appreciate y'all watching. My prayer for you is always the same, that the Lord might richly bless you, and that you might sell of your blessings as from Him. Hope you have a great day.